I thought I'd share one of my latest upgrades. I've added a probe to my Ender 2. And I know that a good manual level will outperform an auto bed level. But I got really tired of having to re-level this bed. Because every time I remove a print, it seems I knock this bed out of level. So I've added the probe. I have it all configured, and I must say it's doing a wonderful job, and uh, I feel life has really improved. <laughs> You'll notice, yeah, I stole the Prusa's G-code there. Um, and what I'm printing is one of these guys, a Flexi Rex. And this guy came off the printer just that loose. Um, this is a really fun, cute little design. And uh, I'll link them down below. Um, but let's see, this is the bed surface. Focus. And you can see how good of a job, how even that first layer is. There's a little bit of a thin spot right here. Um, I imagine that's more of a extrusion problem than a bed level problem. Um, but he turned out terrific. And I'll share in uh, another video how I'm getting such good layer quality and such good extrusion quality. Well, that's it for now. I just wanted to share my little update about adding the, the Z probe. Okay, it's been three hours and the pink Flexi Rex is ready. Um, I found that a sharpened scraper is a miracle worker. And notice I rounded the corners as well. And I, I brought this down to a, more of a point. It's not like a, like a knife blade or anything, but it's much narrower than it was initially. And this really helps just get underneath the parts and, and lift them off. And... Uh, as I said, I think that using the bed probe has really helped make parts easier to remove because that was a pleasure. I'm no longer using the glue stick. Um, and this morning when I started this print, it was pretty cold in here. So I think that the first layer was actually a little, well, the nozzle was a little high. Because uh, if you compare this guy to the green one, um, you know, the green one is pretty beautiful first layer where you know they're all fused but at the same time there aren't really obvious signs of elephant footing or no signs of elephant footing for, I can feel a little bit of a lip there um, and on this one well, I can still feel a little bit of something um, that's probably more to do with just the thicker first layer Um, but yeah, that, that's just a pleasure to remove, uh, parts now as opposed to before where it, it was, it was flat out dangerous. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope this video has inspired you to look into buying a Z probe. Um, I'm fairly confident that this can be done with the stock Ender mainboard. Um, I'm running this probe which is rated for 6 to 36 volts off of the 5 volt connection and I'm actually using one of the servo pins as its input. Um, if you'd be interested in seeing how to maybe make this upgrade uh, with the stock Ender hardware, uh, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Catch you next time.